What is up everyone, welcome back to another VR tutorial and in today's video we will talk about money. So you just spend days and nights making your VR game and as passionate as you are you still need to make some kind of profit to pay the bills, invest on your next project and get that corgi to cure the depression you now have. So how can you make money from your game? You have two main models, pay to play and free to play. Pay to play is let's say the old fashioned method. You put your game on a distribution platform like Steam, Itch.io or the Oculus Store with a certain price and you get money from people buying your game. However, as stated by this research, with a P2P model you put money before the user experience, which if you don't have the resource to convince your player to buy the game, your game can lead to no revenue at all. That's why you might want to consider the second option where your game is free but the revenue is generated after with ads for example, like I did in my own mobile game X-Square. However, for us VR developers, how can we make that happen? We can't just put a big banner in front of the player eyes, right? This is where Admix intervene. Admix is a free plugin that lets you place ads which instead of deteriorate the player experience, lets you merge the ads into the game. And according to their own research, because the ads are less intrusive, the player retention is better and you can place even more ads which can even generate a better revenue from the traditional ads then. And Admix has agreed to sponsor this video which I'm super happy about because I love the plugin so I thought that I could show you how you can integrate this plugin in your game, talk about the type of ads you can use and how to make them non-intrusive. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay so we are inside Unity and this is the game that I want to monetize. You might recognize this scene, it is the one from the 20 minute archery game with Team VR that I made on my Patreon. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Admix website which you will find a link in the description below. Then we can register here by clicking on the get started button. And now that we have an account and that we are logged in, we can go here click on the download tab to download the plugin for Unity. Ok nice, now that it is downloaded, I will drag it in my Unity project and click on import to import the package. Next step is to link our project to our account, which I can simply do by going on Admix, then open Admix and writing my email and password that I used earlier. And as you can see, we can now start to create an inventory for our ads. With the inventory, I can choose the format of the ads that I want. So here we got 2 aspect ratio for videos and 6 aspect for the banners. And for example, in my case, I want to place a banner on the side here to go with the flags from the arena. So I think I will go with the 4x15 ratio. And now as you can see the banner has appeared in our scene and I can place it around and scale it. Just make sure to always keep the ratio, otherwise the ads will break but you can still fix this issue by clicking here. Then we can repeat this for as many banners as we want or even do it for the videos. But be careful when placing the ads to not hide them, like making them too small or behind something, don't make them overlap and don't turn them upside down, otherwise they won't generate any revenue. And there you go, this is how simple it is to create ads in your scene. Now before finishing the setup to make them display real ads, I will show you what you can do to make these ads less intrusive. So let me dock this window before we continue. Ok so the first thing you can do to make them less intrusive is to change the curvature. To do this let's click on one of my banners and as you can see we have 4 parameters to change the curve of our banner. So for example I can increase the curve on the X axis and on the Y axis here but as you can see the shape is a bit rough. The reason is that we don't have enough triangles on our plane so let me go here in the shading mode and change it to shadowed wireframe to display the triangle of our mesh and now I can increase the number of triangles with this slider. And this parameter is also really handy if you want to optimize your game for a VR game on a standalone headset like the Oculus Quest for example. Finally the convex shape changes the orientation of the curve and the ellipse radius is the global angle of the curve. So get creative with these parameters. You can use them for a side panel on the road or on a big piler like this for example. Another technique to make your ads non-intrusive is to use a different shader. 
So as you can see, the material for these ads use an unlit shader, but the plugin still works with a default one. So for example, for these ads, I will change the shader to standard. And now we can change the metallic and smoothness parameters of the ad to tweak the look of it. Or we can even increase the emissive color to make it look like a TV screen. Or for example, I can use a normal texture like this brick one to use a sort of overlay on the ads, which can be super useful if you want the ads to look like a poster on a wall, for example. And there you go, that's how you can better integrate your ads into the game. Now that I'm happy with them, I will go back to the AdMix window, save our scene, click on save placement. Oh, by the way, you can check the export OBG here if you want to see your scene on the developer platform in the AdMix website, which is really handy, but if you have a big scene, I don't particularly advise this. Then we can click on finish setup, which will directly send you to the developer platform on the AdMix website. And here you have it, now our app is there and we can even have a look at our placement by clicking here. All of the banners and videos that we use are present and are activated as you can see with the live toggle. We can even change their category or subcategory to target a specific type of ads. Now to finish the setup, what we need is to add the store that we will use. To do this, you can go back to the apps window and click on the info button or directly click here. And now what's left to do is to add the link of your app on the store here. At the moment, the plugin works with the Google Play Store, the iOS Play Store, Steam and the Oculus Store. And the first time that you will add your link, you will need to wait two hours to validate your app. But once done, it only takes 10 minutes to update the apps if you make any change in your game. You can add more information about your target audience on the audience breakdown here to maximize your revenue. Finally, make sure that the live button is selected here to display the real ad. But if your game is not published yet or that you want to test the ads first, you can select the sandbox mode or force it in your game by going on Admix, Settings, Application Mode for Sandbox which will display some default ads instead and doesn't require any store. And there you have it, I think we checked all of the main features of this plugin. Let me know what you thought about it or what are your plans to make money from your games. There are still some other features that I didn't talk about with this plugin like the new rewarded ads, which can give a certain reward for the player if he saw a certain number of ads or even the 3D ads which are still in beta but are really promising. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can leave a like below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.